Hello third grade. In today's video we are going to be talking about making inferences. So we're going to talk about what an inference is as well as how to make an inference and look at an example of an inference. So Swabot students will be able to. This is going to be your job for today. Students will be able to make inferences about the text based on details from the text. So given the information that the author gives you in the story, you're going to be able to make inferences about the story. So you might be thinking in your brain right now, what is an inference? Well, an inference is when you go beyond the author's words to understand what is not said in the story. So there's going to be times where you are not going to be always told the thoughts and feelings of characters. There's going to be times where you're going to have to make, um, you're going to have to come to a conclusion about how a character feels or why something happened um, because the author's not always going to tell you. They're going to want you to come to your own conclusion. And so we have a little math equation for inference. And so for, to um, an inference is when you take the information from the text and you combine it with your background knowledge. And so we've talked before with point of view, your personal life experiences, that's going to be a lot of your background knowledge, as well as um, maybe things that you've already learned in school. Um, so you're going to take those background knowledge, which is also called schema, along with the information from the text to make an inference. So what can you infer? So you might be thinking, okay, well, I know what an inference is, but what can I infer based on that? Well, you can infer unknown words, what they mean. You can infer the author's message, so what they're trying to tell you. You can predict what will happen next in the story. And you can also infer a character's feelings and motivation. So again, with unknown words, you can infer what they mean based off of what your, your previous knowledge is. So maybe it has one of our suffix or prefixes that we've been practicing. You can use a prefix or suffix, your knowledge from that, to help you understand what the word means. The author's message, whatever the author is trying to tell you, sometimes they're not going to tell you. They're not going to always tell you, this is what I want you to take away from the story. So you have to infer what they're trying to tell you. And then predicting what will happen next. Sometimes you have to look at clues in the story to help you come to that conclusion. And then finally, a character's feelings and motivations. Sometimes the characters aren't going to say, I feel sad. Sometimes you're going to have to look at um, details in the text that might talk be with their language. So maybe they say, you know, this is the worst day ever. You can probably tell them that they're upset, right? And so um, those are things that you can infer in a story. I infer by thinking about the character's action, thinking about the character's feelings, thinking about what the character says, thinking about personal experiences, thinking about the setting and why it is important, as well as thinking about the plot and why certain events take place. And so these are all really important things that you should be thinking about while you read because that's what's going to help you make inferences and um, decide later on maybe how a character feels, um, why a character said what they said, or why they did what they did. So let's go ahead and look at an example. The sunscreen Alex's mom has packed for him remained unopened the entire five hours that Alex was at the beach. Later that night, Alex was moaning in pain as his mom shook her head in disgust. So remember, to infer, we need to take information from the text plus our background knowledge. So looking at this text, I can see that Alex did not use any sunscreen for five hours. Five hours. That is a very, very long time to not be wearing any sunscreen while you're at the beach, right? It's really important that you wear sunscreen because what happens when you wear sunscreen? 
you get sunburnt. So he, we see the details in the text that he went five hours without wearing sunscreen. And then later he's moaning in pain. And when you moan in pain, that usually means you're really, really hurting. And now if I think about my own personal experience, I get sunburnt pretty quickly at the beach if I don't put on sunscreen. And I've had sunburns before that really, really hurt. And so I can infer that Alex had a severe sunburn. So you can see in this example, the author does not tell me word for word that Alex had a really bad sunburn. I had to infer that based off the information that the author gave me, as well as my own background knowledge. And so this is going to be it for making inferences. If you have questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to your teacher to ask. And that is going to be it. All right, if you guys have any more questions, please do not hesitate to ask. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, D1.